hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I make videos like this today we are going to be making the Oshakrakra lightning black soap this is a soap that is highly requested so I have decided to make this video as well all the products will be listed as the video goes on okay so right now i'm just cutting in my african black soap i have 500 grams here which is half of your usual one kg soap so i'm just chopping that in you want to definitely break your soap into bits so that way it's easier for you to pound and do all of that so i'm just going to be chopping this in you can grate this in as well but i, I always like to use the knife to um, chop it into the bowl make sure your um, equipment are clean and sanitized as well because you don't want to get germs into your product okay so now I just chopped in some of the soap I'm definitely going to be breaking in more as we go okay you can also use the raw Ghana um, white soap as well for this that is even easier because it's already uh, mashed up so you can use that for so after cutting all the bits of soap into the bowl i'm going to be using some industrial soap the first one here is this kojik seven days whitening soap it's a very very good soap for the skin and can be used alone I'm also using the K Brothers Kojic Exclusive Whitening Soap. All the K Brothers soap are very good. You can use any of the soaps. These are the ozone soaps. These soaps are very good for people with very tough skin. I have the yellow, the pink, and the multicolored one. These soaps will help the soap to penetrate into your skin. This is the white whitening soap. Balls. I'm just going to be adding some of that into the soup as well. This is the anti pimple balls. For me, I think this contains a lot of nail powder, so this is going to be very good for people that have body acne and face acne. If you don't have this pimple ball soap, I have another option for you. This is the Toto soap, Toto skin soap. People grate this into their soap for pimples, so you can use that if you don't have the anti pimple soap. Right now, this is also the white now soap. This soap is very, very effective. If you know the oil, the oil is also very good. This is the nano white extra, nano extra white soap. It contains papaya and carrot, which are my two best ingredients when I want to make a lightening product. I also have the Pimendu serum concentrate. I'm going to be applying some of that to the soap. I also have this collagen extra whitening and screen skin free milk um, concentrate they are both concentrate so we're going to be using them in little quantities for this soap as well i also have some whitening powders i'm going to be adding this to soap i think this is basically um probably alum or baking soda powder one of the two but also used for skin whitening then i have a mix of essential herbs and oils here that i will be adding to this soap we want this soap to still have some natural properties in it so that it is not too harsh on the skin personally for me i like to slice my soap instead of grating because i feel like grating you lose some of the soaps in the grater so i like to slice my soap and put it in there or you can grate if you want to um, if you're someone that probably wants to pound i think grating will be very okay for you
so I put in all my ozone soups in there the blue and the green and the red and the yellow one you can use any of them to be honest they all do the same thing just give your soup different colors now this is the anti pimple balls I'm going to be putting in six because of the quantity of soup I'm making I'm going to be putting in just six or seven balls into this um, make sure that I'm making as always you can choose to grate or slice this up but because I'm going to be melting my soap over low heat I'm just going to throw that in there okay I'm also putting in my white balls in there my white soap balls in there I'm putting in eight into this soap remember too much of everything is not good so put in a reasonable amount of ingredients okay putting in too much is not going to make it work any faster just give your product time to work you're just going to see me cut in some of the soaps I already mentioned Right now, I'm just putting one third cup of my white bleaching powder. I'm also going to be adding one third of sepi white powder into this mixture. I mix the three concentrates to give me one third cup. I'm going to be putting that into the mixture, okay? You don't need too much of that, you just need one full tablespoon each of those three serums. You don't need too much. Too much of that is going to cut your skin to thin out okay i'm adding honey now i love honey my soup honey has amazing moisturizing benefits so i'm going to be adding one full cup of honey into this mixture Just adding in some extra honey. Be sure not to add too much honey because honey can also be very sticky on the skin, okay? So I'm just going to be mixing that up. I'm not really bothered about um, pounding or doing any of that. Just want to make sure that everything is incorporated into the mix. Now I'm adding in some carrot juice. I cannot make my black soup right now without carrot juice or maybe carrot powder. This soap is definitely going to need some preservative, so you should definitely add preservative to this mix. But this is not the time to add preservative. As we go, I'll tell you when it's time to add preservative, okay? So I'm just mixing my carrot juice into the mix. I'm also going to be adding some um miracle powder I mix the miracle powder with leftover honey i'm just putting that into the soup miracle powder is amazing for skin irritation right now i just added my papaya puree i talk about papaya a lot so by now you should know how much i love papaya this is also some tomato puree tomato has amazing lightning benefits for the skin all these extracts are going to make the soap much more milder and much more gentler on the skin.
in my essential oil mix i have turmeric powder neem powder like rice mulberry and a lot of herbs in that mix with oils which i'll be adding to the soap once it's cold now i'm just melting this over low heat you can leave this over low heat just to allow everything to melt into a very nice liquid form now it has cooled down as you can see and all the ingredients are properly melted into the soup. So this is the time to add your powders such as turmeric, mulberry, any powder that you're adding into your soap. The seppi white and the bleaching powder I added before because I wanted it to melt as I was putting it over low heat because those can be kind of difficult to melt with regular water, okay? I also use rose water to melt my powders and just put them into the soup. Right now I'm just adding in um, 3 crown milk, evaporated milk. You can use any milk of your choice. You can use goat's milk, you can use powdered milk. Milk contains lactic acid which is excellent for exfoliating the skin and giving a brighter, more even toned skin. This thing of milk is 150 ml which is okay for this quantity of soap. I have added all my lightning powders and oils and everything is fully incorporated into the soap now this is a perfect time for you to add your preservative the preservative should be the last thing you add to your soap you can also add your fragrance as well if you want to add fragrance to your soap so this is the final result this soap is going to be very very good on the skin of course it's going to lighten the skin and moisturize the skin as well so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any comments or any questions please leave them down below and i will see you in my next video bye